Hi, Hiram here. I've been doing some tests on this ultra safe, high capacity backpacking stainless steel alcohol stove, which is also called the Out D. I think from now on I'm going to call it the Out D. Anyway, I've been doing some tests on this, and I got a comment from Randy J where he said, still flipping the coin as to if I really need something bigger for the zebra pot. When making soups, uh, when making soups, having a flame that isn't a blowtorch hot is handy to keep from scalding and scorching to a minimum. So he made, he got me to thinking that I did, I have a 12 centimeter zebra pot and I never did do a boil test on this. I made uh, beans with it one time, but I never did a boil test. So I thought maybe today that's what I'd try on this. This might be, uh, he had also made a comment about how this might be good hooked up to the bubbler. That's that uh, fuel remote fuel bottle thing. I'm not sure that it would hook up to the bubbler, but I think that pump remote that I have would probably work with this. This might be a good uh, rig to use in the winter for melting snow. When we get to that time period, I'll probably be doing that. But what I want to do today is a boil test using the Zebra Pot on the Out D stove. I'll do just the two cups of water and one fluid ounce, but just a, sh a short test. So let me get my water prepped and my alcohol ready, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, my water is just about to temperature. Let me light this. Get this to a bloom. Now the first time I did this test using the uh, Boy Scout type pot, the aluminum pot, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 6 minutes 12 seconds and then continued heating for 10 minutes until 10 minutes 20 seconds. I really don't think I'll get that kind of a uh, boil time today with this stainless steel pot, but I'll give it a try. Now this is a 12 centimeter zebra pot, which means the diameter is 12 centimeters and it's 12 centimeters tall. That works out to about 4.72 inches. Okay, we got the blossom. Temperature of water is 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test and the temperature is up to 100 and 106 degrees Fahrenheit. That's kind of surprising. I didn't think it would go up that high. But again, we have our nice flame. Now one thing I wanted to try to show you here is this was two cups of water. And if you look at the side of the pot, you can see how high up the water was in the pot. So I forget offhand how much this 12 centimeter uh, will handle, but that's about as high as the two cups are. So let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 6 minutes 41 seconds. Wow, that's surprising. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil in 6 minutes 41 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for a run out now. Okay, there's the flame is going. It's just the jets are out. It's only burning on the inside of the stove. And even there, just a little bit. Okay, it's going. I'm going to call this at nine minutes, even if it keeps going. Yeah, let's call it at nine minutes. There's just a little bit of flame there anymore. Okay, cool. Let me take this off. Well, let me leave it there. That's hot. The handle on that is really hot. That's one of the problems with this thing. But anyway, so that was two cups of water, 60 degrees, came to a boil in 6 minutes 41 seconds. That's about 29 seconds longer than what it took with the uh, aluminum Boy Scout type pot, which that's pretty good. And then it ran out in nine minutes, which the first time when I did it, it ran out in 10 minutes, 20 seconds. So that's, it should have burned for, 
the first time burned a minute 20 seconds longer. Uh, that could be anything from how this is reflecting the heat back down into the stove and then made it heat faster or even the room temperature. It's 85 degrees now on the test. The first test that I did it was only 81 degrees. So I hope this helps Randy. This looks like this might be a good configuration for making soup. Um, you'd have to fill it up with more than just the one fluid ounce and I also think this would work with that uh, pipe, remote pipe with the pump feeder. Still, when winter comes, I want to try this with snow. I think this might be a good combination for melting snow. So I thank Randy J for his comment. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. Hope you're not tired of this stove yet. I still have one or two more tests to do. But anyway, thank you for watching. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.